Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. We are back today with our best friend of ATP, Tom Del Beccaro, who is to be congratulated. His uh, involvement in the recall of Gavin Newsom has just been certified by the Secretary of State. It is going to happen in California. Tom's here to tell us about it. Welcome back, Tom. Barry, great to see you. It is a great day in America, even behind the thick blue line of the blue state of California. We showed that voters can make a difference and we're ready to head off to this election this fall and recall Gavin Newsom. So let's start with that. Um, the California recall was just certified by the Secretary of State that there are enough signatures. Um, how did it happen that the voters got so mad in a blue state at a blue governor? Yeah, and what's important to recognize here is that so many Democrats signed the petition and about 36% uh, were non-Republican who signed it. In LA County, more Democrats than Republicans. And the answer is that the policies of big government have failed them. You and I know that that will always be true, but not everybody else understands that. And it was this rolling snowball of effect, whether it was the homeless crisis, number one in the country in poverty, you had the inability to deliver electricity because of environmental issues, the wildfires because of environmental issues. Water is always a source of problems within this state. Of course, jobs leaving the state. We lead the nation in the export of jobs to other states. Those were underlying problems. And then COVID came along and Newsom decided that he was one man, one rule. Didn't even have to confer with his own Democrat caucus. And he became arrogant about it, changing 400 plus laws all by himself. And of course, flouting his own rules, going to places like French Laundry, when he told us we couldn't do that, and then lying about it. When you add all those things up and kids staying home from school and people not being able to go to places of worship, it was really across the board spectrum of the violation of rights. And there was no one left unharmed by his policies. And that's why this came as a shock to the left because they're not used to voters having a say, but it didn't come to a shock to smart people like you or hardworking people in this case, like me, because we felt it on the ground and we're changing the country by changing California. Well, there's a weird item that has been floating around and, and I need to get your input on this. Supposedly, there's enough votes now. I mean, it's been certified, but there's a period of review according to the report I read from the Secretary of State's office that people can recant their vote in favor of recall. Is that true? And are there enough extra names, no matter what, to keep the recall on the ballot? Yeah, we uh, submitted 2.2, nearly 2.2 million signatures. We at Rescue California and Recall Gavin 2020. There is now, they have certified that we're at 1.6 million. They'll probably, they're gonna certify another 100,000 here shortly, at least. And then there is this period where you can take back your signature, if you will. Now that's normal for all initiative processes, never works where an initiative qualifies and then unqualifies. It's a very expensive process to try and take back signatures. And because we went so far over some 200,000, the odds that are more than 200,000, the odds that they'll be able to undo this are extremely long, if not impossible, especially since they've been much admitted that and won't be running a drill to try and make it happen. Well, tell me about this other thing. Is it true that they can unmask who signed a petition and then go call the guy or shame the guy or gal, I guess, you know, or dox them? Um, I know there was a court case about it. I know there was actually a bill in the assembly pending about it. What finally, 
what finally happened? Well, what finally happened is that they were making an attempt to do that for future recalls. Then there was those who wanted to do it for this recall, but the light of day showed on them and they eventually withdrew the bill. Imagine the press, the negative press that would have occurred under those circumstances. So they thought better of it and now it's not gonna happen. This is just gonna go through. They are gonna wrangle, There's, you know, Barry, they have an all male uh, in vote election because of quote COVID, even though he's lifting them all on June 15th. So there's no reason to do that. That will add to the cost 400 million and they'll complain about that, but it's Gavin Newsom that's causing that. All right, so it's gonna happen. The date hasn't been set yet. We're in the 30 day wait and see period, I guess you call it. And then at some point, there are gonna be real candidates like Caitlyn Jenner, like Tom oh, Del Carro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to ask me if others were running. Uh, it is true that I've been uh, asked to run and it is, you know, anytime this moment occurs, you, you take that very seriously. It is true I'm considering it, but I'm not uh, at this point prepared to make any announcements. Okay, so so no exclusive on ATP report from Tom today. Um, who are your fave candidates, not including yourself, and uh, who do you think's got the best shot at it? Well, there's very special rules with regard to this election. You don't have to get to, so the election is question one, should he stay or should he go? Should he be recalled? Question two is <clears throat> among the list below, if he is recalled, who should replace them in 10 days, mind you. And you don't have to get to 50%. So we're looking at an election where someone can win probably in the 18 to 25% range. Uh, I, I haven't seen the full list of candidates, plus I'm chairman of the rescuecalifornia.org, so I'm not allowed to say who I like or dislike, but in the immortal words of someone, stay tuned. <laughs> we'll get you back when the ballot is set. Um... You know, there you there's, go. there's a lot of skeptics out there. I got to be honest with you, Tom, around the country that talk about it constantly, that there's no way the Democrats are going to let this happen. I don't think they can stop it at this point. I think you agree it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, 100 percent. They they may try and delay it a little bit, but, you know, that's actually working against them. And so is the campaign of Gavin Newsom to shame people, to claim it's right wing. The fact is that a huge percentage of Democrats, 30%, don't want him to be governor anymore. And so every time he, he says something like this, Barry, he's just insulting the people who, who what, they don't have their own mind. Uh, so I, I hope, frankly, he continues to blame Republicans for this. Well, yeah, the tweet this morning, I think that you're referring to, I read it as well, Tom, it said, that you know, we can't let this right-wing Republican recall go through because we've made so much progress. And then he talked about his progress on housing, which is an unbelievable failure. His, his progress on treating COVID, um, oh my God, his, his progress on immigration, what a disaster. I mean, he listed his accomplishments, all of which are complete abysmal failures, and then blamed it on the GOP in California. <laughs> yeah, it's just, look, so many independents and so many Democrats. So what is he saying to them? That you're, that you're being fooled or that you are fools? I, I, you're right. And, and of course, they're going to lie about their record. Uh, the Mercury News last week excoriated him for trips and said, stop playing California for fools. We know the true record, which, you know, comes from the heart of the Silicon Valley. So uh, I, I don't think it will work. And frankly, I think it, it goes against, it, it uh, strengthens the argument against them among uh, those wayward Democrats and independents who want better leadership. Well, in the immortal words of that famous political pundit, Tom Del Beccaro, stay tuned. There you go. <laughs> and we'll bring you back to talk about it. Tom, tell people where they can find you. Well, right now I, I'm asking people to go to rescuecalifornia.org, but you can always go to my media site, politicalvanguard.com, which will be all new within a week.
Wonderful. Thanks for coming on. We sure appreciate you as always. Your wisdom and insight is special. And for all of you out there in ATP land that haven't yet subscribed to our free content, please do so now. Take out your cell phone, text the word TRUTH and send it to the number 88202, push send. You'll be signed up for free and you get all of our stuff, including the brilliant Tom Del Beccaro on the palm of your phone in your hand for free.